CST continues its coverage of Saints mini camp day number two in the books. The good news for the players and the fans, the temps were lower than day number one fitting because there was more than a slight breeze on the practice field. Yet Drew Brees returns after missing day one. He was more than glad to be back and so is his head coach. He got in last night, shot me a text. Uh, he had a good practice. Um, so, you know, he's someone that's obviously going to work extremely hard on, on, on what we're doing. You know, they'll have times during this summer where these guys will get together and throw. Uh, but it was good to have him back and out there today. The Saints clearly know who their quarterback is. In fact, this team doesn't have a whole lot of question marks. They don't seem to need a lot of help, but the one exception is wide receiver Michael Thomas. Now, he put up his second straight 1,000-yard receiving season despite not getting a lot of help from his supporting cast. To put it in perspective, Michael Thomas had 400 more receiving yards than the rest of his core combined and nearly 50 more catches. Needless to say, Cam Jordan got his deal. Sean Payton told me Michael Thomas is in the on-deck circle. Listen, he's been, been very consistent, and, you know, he'll be the next one. I'm sure Mickey will be working, and, and I know that they probably already begun discussions. You know, I leave that to, to those guys to handle. But, uh, yeah, he's, you know, he competes. Um, he's durable, and... You know, he's someone that enjoys playing. Finding help from Michael Thomas will be key for the Saints, where on offense, they have two other big question marks. The big hole vacated by center Max Unger's retirement may be filled by rookie Eric McCoy, who's making great first impressions in minicamp. And then you have Latavius Murray trying to replace arguably the most popular guy in the Saints locker room the last few seasons in Mark Ingram. Since Alvin's been here, um, you know, I knew how uh, – they were used in this offense and so um, you know when you're assessing um, that kind of situation on what kind of role you could you know potentially play um, I think it played a big role in my decision on being here and um, and being able to uh, you know contribute to the offense in a, in a, in a you know in a, in a big way. He's not worried about trying to trying to come in and fill somebody's shoes he's worried about being him you know so that's the biggest thing I think that's you know that's like that's the biggest credit to him, I think, you know. I think it's a lot of a lot of people put a lot of pressure on like that, you know, that role, filling that role. Yep. You think you could be, you know, as good as Mark and Alvin was with Alvin. It's not about that. It's about him being the best him uh, Latavius he can be, and I think he's doing that. The core of the Saints team is still very young, where everywhere you look, you see remnants of that stellar class of 2017, who is now in its third year. The likes of Marshawn Lattimore, Ryan Ramchek, Marcus Williams, oh yeah, Alvin Kamara and Alex Anzalone represent big time players on both sides of the ball. But now that their body of work is more than extended, how does this group compare to Peyton's benchmark rookie class of 2006? Their similarity, first off, would be the importance of those classes, the importance of the 06 class relative to what we were able to accomplish in the years to follow a real good draft like that. And I think that same similarity exists in the 17 draft class. Do you guys look at that class, kind of role models? That's how you want to pattern your career? I mean, if the longer you play, the better. So um, I guess you could say that. But I think a lot of us just focus on our day-to-day -day and, you know, just try to get better every day. And Because if you don't, your, your career is going to be over. So, um, you know, I think that, yes, that's a good example. But, you know, we just try to focus on us, too. So as you can see, the Saints seemingly have it all, youth, experience, and loads of talent. But they're lacking in one area. How about a slogan? Remember last season, Sean Payton coined the phrase, prove them right with all the high expectations for this football team. I asked him, does he have a catchphrase for this year's bunch? He said, not yet. So stay tuned, Houdat Nation. Wrapping up day two of minicamp, Mike Neighbors at Saints headquarters for CST.